This video is about the e-learning environment. A paradigm shift is learning and teaching. Welcome to today's lecture. The topic for today is electromechanical energy conversion. In this lecture, we will discuss about how energy is converted from electrical to mechanical form. The principle of energy conversion is the foundation on which operation of electrical machines is based. I do not understand. This is too confusing. I am unable to understand and visualize. Can you please make it simpler? Okay, let us try the smart learning. I think it will make things more interesting. Welcome to the smart learning environment from Dashi Technologies. The smart learning environment is a paradigm shift in the way we learn and teach. The smart learning environment consists of an ebook. This ebook is graphically enriched and has 2D and 3D animations. These animations help in understanding difficult concepts. The animation on the screen is about 2D representation of phases. The phases are used in analysis of electrical machines. The ebook explains important concepts using detailed animations. Topics such as phasers. Hysteresis phenomenon in ferromagnetic materials. Reluctance variation in salient pole machines. An important concept is electrical machines is core loss. The core loss is created due to two phenomenon, the hysteresis and the eddy current. Hysteresis is an inherent property of ferromagnetic materials. The ebook has detailed 3D animations which explain the complex phenomenon. This animation shows how internal magnetic domains align themselves as the external magnetic increases. The second phenomenon responsible for core loss is eddy current. Eddy currents appear when an electrical conducting material is exposed to external magnetic field. The animation shows the eddy current in a bulk material. A common technique to reduce eddy current is to use laminations. Due to lamination the effective resistance increases, and hence the eddy current reduces. This is the reason why the cores of machines are laminated. An important concept in electrical machines is torque. The torque is produced due to interaction between stator and rotor magnetic field. For instance the stator field and induction motor is produced due to current in the stator coils. The rotor field is produced due to current in the rotor bars. The detailed animations in the ebook help in understanding the magnetic field better. These animations explain step by step the magnetic field due to stator and rotor. I hope you must be enjoying. Let us continue further and see the internal parts of the motor. The e-learning environment explains the detailed construction of the machines. It shows each part of the machine such as stator coils, laminations, rotor bars. These animations also explain the importance of each part in the operation of the motor. This gives an insight into the construction details of the motors and sparks the imagination of the students. These 3D animations make learning an engaging process and fun. Besides the construction of the motor, there are animations that explain the manufacturing process of the motors. For example, the animation on the screen gives the details of how the coils are manufactured. This helps the reader to visualize the entire process. There are detailed animations that explain how different parts of the motor are manufactured. Music 
For example, this animation shows how stator laminations are made and how the slots are punched in the laminations. These animations give a realistic feel of the manufacturing process of the motors. Having understood the basic theory and construction, it is time to understand the relation between system parameters and its behavior. For this, the e-learning environment has Basic Virtual Lab. The Basic Virtual Lab enables one to analyze the impact of input parameters on the output of the system. This is a very interactive tool and convenient to use. It allows the use to change the input values and immediately see its effect on the output. The input values can be changed using the slider bars. As the input is changed, its effect on the output curves can be seen immediately. It is possible to see multiple output curves on the same graph and compare the results. Dear students, I hope you must be enjoying. Let us now know solve some problems. The e-learning environment offers an advanced virtual lab. This advanced virtual lab has five levels and has very exciting exercises. Each level of the virtual lab challenges the student's understanding and problem-solving capability. These exercises help the student to apply the concepts studied in the classroom. Besides advanced virtual lab, the e-learning environment also has interactive tutorial problems. These interactive tutorials are called e-tools. The example that is being shown is about the winding scheme. This problem helps the students to design a winding for a given pole and slot combination. The problems in e-tools have intuitive hints at very stage to guide the student towards the right answer. Once the student is done with the winding design, they can visualize the winding being inserted into the stator. This is done using 3D animations. For each pole slot combination there is a unique 3D animation that explains how the coils are placed into the slots of the stator. These animations also show how the coils of a phase are connected. Each problem in a tool is accompanied by 3D and 2D animations. These tutorial problems are highly interactive and graphically enriched they complement the theory explained in the e-book. The e-tools make problem-solving and exciting process. It excites the imagination of the students and makes learning an enjoyable process. Dear students, 
I am sure you must have enjoyed using the smart learning environment and must have understood the concepts better. Let us now have a short quiz. The e-learning environment includes a quiz that has over 1,000 questions and different levels of difficulty. The instructor can configure the quiz based on the difficulty level. So, how was your experience with e-learning? It's great. To discover more about the e-learning environment, Please visit our website, 